the Joker, I will finish you off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tell me what exactly you just did. I went and thought about why I'm going to see this movie tonight. And well, then I has, peed too. It has over 29%. Over? I thought it was 30-something. It has over 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. I thought it was 30-something. It was. Yeah, yesterday it was. Oh. The great then more stuff. reviews came out. Then more math happened. And then <laughs> it was less than 30%. <laughs> All right, everybody. Is it, so is it currently at less than what BVS was at when we saw it? Yes. Yes. BVS was at 33, I think, when 35. we went and saw it. 35. And I'd say those BVS reviews were justified. I like that movie, but I agreed with that percentage. <laughs> I like the movie. I, I'd say I, I agree with that as well. Because the movie, I, I watched the uh, extended edition quite good. I yeah. enjoyed it quite a lot, but it was really long. Yes. Yeah, it, was, it was really long. It took me several tries to get through it. I still have it. Uh, I'm working. I'm working on filming through the string right now. Oh, now they look like testicles. It's Stacks. like an Airbnb. Ah, or Star Trek. Also, That's Starfleet. Like oh yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm cautiously optimistic. I was. I hope that it's like a violent, psychedelic, weird candy shop. Like yeah, like balls to the wall, weird shit bouncing off everything type of movie. Yeah. Oh, if it's like that, minimum, then I will. I was talking to Alex before this, and I was saying I kind of like when a movie has kind of negative reviews when I go into it because yep. I really want to enjoy you it. That one who likes it. Exactly. Like, Fuck you guys. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's a masterpiece. Batman v so. Superman. I agree with all the negative reviews. I just didn't. They weren't problems for me. And then the Ultimate Edition solved most of my issues anyway because Martha was never. Yeah. I, I still would have cut out all of Lois's scenes. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, was the, that was when we were watching that one day. Yeah. <laughs> Just like fucking shit, fuck, what the fucking shit, fuck. Chill the fuck out. I should try, I should I try getting the pizza at some point. Uh, Spirit of Japan. Snicked. Who's gonna have sex with Will Smith in this movie? Well, I will, I call it. I love when those white Jewish guys wear those masks. Let's just Brooklyn? stop filming. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking forward to this. I know there's a little sh What the f- What the fuck are they? We're at the Alamo. Or something at the Alamo. And Joe, I don't know where he is, and Alex, I don't know where he is, and Spencer had to stay back to upload a video. So, we're gonna go see the movie. Woo! 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 Let's go see it. Oh! Oh, that was your signal that you were done zooming out? <laughs> All right. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> We're out of, out of Suicide Squad. We have our Mondo Blast. Boy. You guys are my squad because oh. it's hashtag all about my crew when it comes down <laughs> to Iron Squad. That's all Star Trek Beyond. Yes. Oh, Star Trek Beyond? I'm oh, sorry. That was oh, all right. Well, <laughs> anyway, we're out of uh, Suicide Squad. What, 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 what do you think? What do I you loved think? it. You loved it? it was, yeah. I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to enjoy this movie. And I did. It was really cool. It was a lot of fun. I thought it was really good. Fun. I liked it. Go see it. End of review. Nerds. Nerds. There's more. He said creatures. Oh, did oh he? they said nerds. No, he said creatures. I heard, Never mind. That's all I heard. <laughs> I'm gonna change your tires. I thought it was fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, man. I thought that movie was really good. Yeah. Um, I don't see what the deal is with all the, <laughs> the whole this, time. I was this like, this is like the ultimate frustration I've been having with like the critical versus the actual movie. This movie was. I thought it was really good. Like there was yeah. nothing. There was maybe a couple like kind of awkward moments, but that I mean, movies have those. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Joker's pretty lousy. Yeah, I, that, I gotta say, I thought the movie was great. I don't think the Joker should have been in this. I thought he was. Great. He attributed his, absolutely zero to the plot. As, yeah. Oh yeah. The Joker. Yeah. Well, he was just kind of there. Joker well, I know. I I also didn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm being nitpicky. I, I really of, didn't like him. There was a lot of anticipation around his character. I mean, throughout the entire movie, it's just like, you know, they have the teases of the Joker popping back up. And I, I think if you put too much in there, it's going to be, like, no matter what, if you show too much of the Joker, it's just going to be old hat and not good. And you can only keep up that level of writing for so long. And I do think the level of writing for him was kind of, like, wonky. That scene with Common was really weird. That was the best scene, because it showed him being a gangster. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was doing stuff, but, like, why everything was Common else, Everything else was just kind of weird. <laughs> was it, no, wait, which one was, who was Common? Common uh, was the guy with the, the septum ring who Joker was... Yeah, what was... That was awkward. It was really weird. Well, that whole scene was weird. It's he's like, like hey, yeah, have wanna, sex with my yeah, girlfriend. have sex with my wife. He's like, no. He's like... <laughs> 
Yeah, ah! that's right. And then he shoots him. The beginning like, felt like a, a, a jukebox was set to random or something like that for the first five Yes, episodes. I can... It just kept switching to different songs. But I don't think the editing happening. was bad. I think the music editing was bad. Because it literally was like, okay, let's play every popular song over the last 15 years. And they just like kind of jammed it in. It and I love the songs. Yeah. It just was very jarring. And they also stopped doing that. Well, I mean, they obviously brought it back for the end. But like for the last... 40 minutes, they don't really do that at all. It's no. also just score. And, I remember yeah. seeing that in the trailer and be like, oh, that's corny. They just sit down and have to kind of like sweep up after themselves as to why they're letting these like right. huge criminals out on the street. But when it happened in the movie, I was like, oh, okay, I want to see this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you have to condense an explanation like that to like 10 yeah. seconds, 10 to 15 seconds in a trailer. She sold it though, and I was like, she okay, was that makes eating sense. that steak like. Crazy. <laughs> she knew she had. She was thirsty bad. for blood. Out. She was just, I don't, I don't know, this guy, I don't. Witch. <laughs> the uh, the the nun uh, Cole Blackened Enchantress was super lame. I thought. Oh, yeah, no, I liked her when brother, she was all like brother, dusty and yeah. shit. <laughs> she, she turned sideways and like, <laughs> yeah, she, she like would, magic <laughs> involves this. She yeah. would totally walk like her, an Egyptian the whole time. Yeah, she was like when she turned to her brother, she was like, <laughs> <laughs> or when she was talking to them, she was like, oh, what? No, it was like this. It was like, oh, well, you <laughs> all are. Going. It was, it was, she was very CGI was without her dust. Yeah. Like, I felt without I don't know. Dust. Like Cirque du Soleil. It was strange, man. Like it was it was a weird performance. I think that might be why the reviews are bad. Is because of her. The villain. The villain. Also. Batman's in this movie. Batman's in He's it. He's in it quite a bit. Oh, quite a bit. Probably, I mean, less than the Joker, but like maybe five minutes of yeah. Yeah. Batman in there? That was, it was More so cool. than Slipknot. I, oh, oh. They did, they, that was almost they a joke, how quickly quick. they killed him. Well, how quickly they introduced him, because like when it got to the point, I was like, where's Slipknot? And then he just showed up, and he was like, hey guys, I'm in this scene. And then in the next scene, he's like, hey guys, I'm in this scene. And then he goes, <laughs> I'm going to die. Yeah. Yeah, they had no no problem pausing the, the gravity. <laughs> God, are they fucking pirates? Uh, oh, no! On to the next kill! Went, there's a gas leak, and then somebody else went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're having a blast. Yeah, they are. It doesn't cool. feel like a movie that got hijacked by the studio, like all the reviews are saying. I feel like it's actually pretty free of that. I, I, I thought the movie itself, like, there were some fuck-ups in editing and little things here and there, but it doesn't feel like a studio came in like, butchered the film. I, and I really liked David Ayer's voice for the characters. He was awesome. I think he did a great job writing the film. The only character I didn't like was the Joker, and that's just because I thought he was almost too bland for the Joker. It was almost... Mm, he felt like a, more like a gangster than he felt like, like a the Joker. to him, like there were yeah. the last two. He was on a heroin binge. <laughs> oh yeah, he might have been. He was just kind of like doing his thing and then... His laugh is terrible. <laughs> well, he only laughs like once or twice in the movie, and it's never. Like a, he laughs like that guy crying in intervention. I don't know if you've. Oh, the. <laughs> but I mean, for me, the Joker, he always has like this mental, like he's kind of like a step ahead mentally, and he's always trying to twist people and like get them to push people to places they've never been before. <laughs> He's jerking me off. Oh, God. <laughs> the middle of his review. I'm sorry. Oh, what were you saying, Spencer? That doesn't mean he can't do good. I still think he could do really great things with the character. I don't think he got enough time to really show me. Yeah. So there's one scene where he got the guy to kiss his ring, and he's like, I can tell you really meant that. Like, I <laughs> that, did that. It was very sexual. That was the only scene, though, where he really, Joker. like, grabbed me. Yeah. But the, aside the, from that... The Joker, in general, was very fucky the whole time. Like, everything he did felt like he was gonna rape somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when they were introducing Harley Quinn, you know, they had like their little what they had done. It said she killed Robin. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. See, okay, so those were popping up way too quick for me to read them and know what yeah. to focus on. So, Spencer, and I think her, hers was the shortest. Yeah. <laughs> they highlighted Robin in yellow, which is the only reason I Ah, uh, okay. And uh, either I she helped or she actually did kill him. I did think the thing Diablo did was like every now and then he'd like he'd do a picture in fire. It felt really cheesy. Yeah. What was it? So there was somebody who sit, was sitting in front of us that like, said something. Stupid. Yeah, <laughs> no, he was like, oh, that's fucking, yeah, yeah. He said, he said something along those lines. Well, what do you say? She looked really like pixely and out of focus, but it was fire, so yeah. I was like, I'm not gonna question too yeah. much. The characters were great. I mean, fire though. has pretty low res. Yeah, so. no, I guess. I, I thought the movie was fantastic, I though. I like going in thinking it wasn't gonna be good. Yeah. It was. I thought it was a fine movie. It was a little aimless. Yeah. There's never. There's no, Batman v Superman. I think leaves people floating for way too long before you figure out what's going on, and even then, it doesn't fully explain it. And this one. 
they leave you lingering like there's a couple mysteries briefly where it's like what's going on here and then a couple minutes later they'll be like okay this is what we were talking about or something like that um like with the waller reveal like she was the t asset they went to go get yeah. you didn't know that up to that point and that was like because they're like they're on the floor like they're on the top level so i'm like wait are they looking at their own building Ah, good catch. I catch that at all. No, I didn't catch it either. So Killer Croc uh, sounded like he had a hard time talking through all that makeup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is probably the best Jai Courtney part ever. Oh, right? it was awesome. I mean, this is the best movie he's ever been a part of that I've seen. <laughs> so well, it's the best thing he's ever done. And he can talk like himself. I know, and it's so it's so unique to the usual bullshit that he does. Like, I'm glad they didn't have to worry about like, okay, how can we do all the origin stories? Like they kind of did a little bit here and there, but they were just like. They're here. Yeah, Even with like the Joker, they're just kind of like, you know him, we don't yeah. care, just yeah. he's here. Mm -hmm. I like that. I don't think they need to always go through like, oh, let's have Peter Parker buy a bottle of chocolate milk while his dad, while his uncle gets shot. It's like, who the fuck cares? <laughs> oh, no. I want chocolate milk. Oh, oh my. <laughs> and then he, he never drank chocolate milk ever again after that day. Definitely not. But I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I like how they just like let characters be. Like, let us infer to some degree. Like, they showed some origin story, but like, yeah, with Katana, yeah. she was still awesome as hell. She's a girl with a Katana. That's all people care about. Yeah. So, talking hopefully they do that talking with, with uh, Justice League. Yeah. Which, they're doing a pretty good job setting up. Cameos from, like, The Flash and Batman. Yes. And he was just so, in this. So, once again, the Alamo has once again disrupted my movie experience by somebody delivering food right when something happened, so I didn't get to see that. Notorious. I saw him for two seconds and he said something, but then I didn't... It wasn't that great. I didn't I hear mean, anything about him. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you okay? What'd you, what'd you say, what, Alex? Is this, is this, is this yeah. So. yeah, it was fine. I mean, it was kind of just the flash show up. You're like, oh, it's the flash. Cool. Can we reenact the clap that happened during the folder opening in the after the credits? Oh, yeah, here. You, you, you can go first. What did he say? <laughs> there was just like... What does that mean? There was like echoing applause throughout the crowd. Was, like, like randomly, because like, people were like, whoop. <laughs> yeah! All I heard was like the editing. Now there's murder going on over there. It's a crazy night at the Alamo. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Thursday night. <laughs> it's not 29%. It's a solid 79. I'll take it. 7.5 out of 10. Very solid 7.5 out of 10. Yeah. Almost 8. 8. Ooh. 8. So I'm well, glad you liked it a lot, Alex. Yeah, man. I was I was expecting this to suck. Yeah, I'm glad we all liked it. So that's what's yeah. like the last few movies have been like, oh, these are gonna be real stinkers, and then we come out like, yeah, yeah. every single time. But it's just it was good. It was fun. I can't complain about the experience I had. Harley, Harley and Deadshot were fantastic. Oh yeah. Those two characters got the most screen time, and they were good characters. I think everybody all the way around. I, even knowing some people didn't get as much screen time, I still think all the characters were. Oh yeah. Fleshed. Yeah, I think I think they got I think it served the movie fine. I would just prefer to see a three hour extended edition. Cut. Yeah, I would I would want to see what they cut out Joker wise because oh, yeah. mostly they cut out. You had you were reading an article. Hopefully it's good. A lot of it. The it amount of great. times they said witch and magic in this movie was pretty cool. Yeah, just <laughs> they didn't care. Oh, yeah. Fucking turned into a giant skeleton Native American man at the end. Yeah. That was awesome. He was Sorry. my favorite. He was Diablo? awesome. Essay. Yeah, it was like it was like Killer Instinct. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was. Here's my ultimate form. <laughs> yeah, that was. Finish it. They're probably going to be DLC in about two weeks. <laughs> I hope so. Good movie. Scarlet Witch, Worth you say? Two tickets to paradise. Yeah. Two tickets to I'm paradise. I'm that song's not in the movie. I know. Go see it. All right. Eighth ending to this video. At Play Overwatch on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're actually really kind, too. They replied to Dan. Check out Lawbreakers when it comes out. Don't oh. listen to him. Play Overwatch. It's pretty good. It wasn't bad. Close it's down, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. 